Hey everyone, I am going to show you how to do five different edgy eyeliner looks today. Are you ready? Let's go. So as usual, you want to prime your eyes with an eye primer. It's just going to help your makeup last longer. Let's start off with a basic wing. Grab your gel liner and eyeliner brush of your choice. I'm just going to start by applying the thicker portion at the end, keeping it relatively thin. And I'm going to do a little flick just by following the curve of my lower lash line. Create the line and just connect everything together. So just smoothly go back and forth until you get the shape that you like. And I'm just connecting everything and also deepening it. And you've got your wing. I'm going to glam up the look with lashes. They're optional, but for such a simple eye look, I think they just really make the eye stand out more. So let's play up the lips. For this type of look, you definitely can go with any color. I'm going to go with a bold red. Let's just change up the lip color for each one so that you can differentiate the looks a little better. I'm just going to highlight the inner corners to brighten up the eyes. And there's the look. Now let's add an extra element to the look. I'm going to grab the gel liner once again and create these sort of like rectangular horizontal shapes. We're going to go back and define those a little bit more in just a second. But just taking what's left on the brush, I'm also going to rim the inner corner, the inner tear duct. Now we're going to just give these bottom, what looks like little blobs, a bit more shape so that it looks more defined and complete. And there it is. Feel free to be creative with it. Gotta condition those lips. Anyways, remember how I said feel free to be creative? Well, we're going to play off this look once again. I'm pretty much just going to wipe off about half of it and also wipe off more of the wing so that it's slanted upwards just to give more room for the second line that we're going to be putting in. So just first taking the gel liner, I'm just going to sort of map out where this line's gonna go. It's just gonna look a little less harsh, but now we're gonna take a liquid liner and I'm going to further define the upper lash line because I want it to look more sharp, more defined. And now we're going to create the line, keeping it thin on the lower end. See how it's angled upwards like that? I'm going a little bit past so that it pretty much reaches the center. And then you want it to also extend outward so that you have that double winged look. But I'm keeping it really thin. The gel liner kind of gives it a softer look so it doesn't look way too harsh. And then finishing off with a peach lipstick. Alrighty, I think it's time to turn up the drama. So I'm just going to transition the look by wiping off the places that I need to, once again. And for this next look, it's a very popular one. It's edgy. I just absolutely love it. And I take the gel liner and I'm going to connect the two wings. And I'm actually rounding off this bottom part. It actually kind of flatters my eye more and it gives it a more cute type of look. Although still edgy at the same time. But I'm just kind of smoothing everything out. And now I'm going to also rim the inner portion and connect that as well. I'm going to rim it about halfway in, not all the way to the outer corner, and just neaten everything up. To make the eye stand out more, I'm just going to go for a nude lip. Like a nudie pink color is great. And then I'm going to apply some gloss in the middle to just plump the lips up. This next look is very much inspired by what I've seen on the runway. It's so dramatic, but just I think looks amazing. So I'm just kind of wiping off everything at the bottom there. It's just going to be completely bare. And just after I did that, I thought that was a great eyeliner look as well. You could definitely just thicken that up. But I'm going to give this a completely different shape just to make it different from the other looks we've done. And I'm using a concealer brush because it covers more surface area, but really you can use whatever you want. And I decided that I wanted to round out the end and the upper portion of this look. 
using the smaller brush to really just clean up everything and feel free to go over this with black eyeshadow or a liquid liner even to really set the entire look in place. I decided to go with a nude lip again this time, but more of like that paled out dead type of look, no gloss, and there you go. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun, get creative, play with your eyeliner, and let me know which looks you like the best, and I will see you next time. Bye!